delete. You can edit your Facebook app, reset the Facebook app to default, deactivate the, the app, or control where Facebook posts go. So I'm going to go to uh, edit the app. And the application name, I'm still going to keep Angelic Double Toe. And change the icon. And I'm just going to change it to my, my logo. And then I'll change the logo uh, I can set the authorization uh, settings uh, to installable to members or Facebook pages and then the uh, callback URLs. Then I can set the profiles. So I'm just going to close all of these windows and go back to the name to name and go back to manage. And I can, of course, add more Ning apps if I, if I don't feel that there are enough or my users want to see more, uh, want to see more on the site. And you can also customize your Ning network at, um, you've already chosen a layout for your name network and you can change it like if I want to change it to this playful ocean I can just choose that and save it and it will automatically change and if I do it again, I can just change it to this line. And save it. It will change to the one that I chose. So if I go back to the main page. It will show everything that I put on the site. Um, let me okay, here it has the sign in, and here it has the, of course, the ads for Ning. The about me section, well, the about the site section, and the badge. So I'll go back to manage and I'll show you guys how to update the information on your site. So you can update your network name, your tagline, your description, your keywords, uh, the language you're using, the time zone, uh, your country, and zip code. Now you can set a network icon. Your network icon will be anything you choose. So if I browse in my pictures and I just choose a random picture, um, I'll choose this green forest. And then you can also set a favicon.
uh, or favorites icon. It has to be in ICO format because if it's not in ICO format, it will not work out right. And then the default photo, the default profile photo is what you will see when a user has not uploaded a photo yet. So I'll choose the green force again and save that. So here you see I have the favicon and the default profile photo. Now if I go back to Reminiscence Haro and I go to manage you'll see in my information that I've set my network icons, my favicons, and my default profile photo. And if you look to the top here, I know my uh, browser is pretty dark, but if you look over here, I have the icon here and then it's the same icon that I have here so that's all I can really show you about uh, creating a network with Ning there's not really much to show the manage section is very robust So Ning is a very solid network. It's, it's very good if you want to just create a small social networking site for your friends or family and uh, just talk about anything you want. But in order to make money from Ning, you'll have to shell out about $9.95 a month in order to really get the most out of your name network. Now with Wackwall, as I've said, with Wackwall, you don't have to shell out any money. It's completely free and you can put your own ads on there. That is why I'm very impartial. But there are things that I do like about Ning. With Ning, you can actually use your own favorite con. You can use your own favorites icon and you can integrate with Twitter which Wackwall doesn't have that yet it has Facebook integration but has yet to have Twitter integration so I hope you learned a little bit about Ning and how to create your network with Ning I know there are a lot of videos out there about this and not many of them have gone in depth after Ning has made a couple of changes uh, like the Ning apps um, just came out a couple of months ago so I haven't seen many videos on the newer features so I hope you learned a little bit about Ning and how to create your social network with Ning and also how to create your social network with Wackwall from my last video. And until next time guys, this is Angelic Double Tell and I'll see you guys later.